All right. I like this dude. His name's Void Dude. We just found him about a week and a half ago, and I like the way he edits his videos. This one's called this this one's called This Game is Really Sad. <laughs> Let's see what he's up to. Um and he, I just, he has a really good way about styling his, his content. So let's check it out. Quite an adventure, and we had a lot of fun. We made some dirty credits and committed some fun homicides, but being a criminal is hard work. And my butt cheeks are soft and squishy from playing Star Citizen all the time, so I wouldn't make it very far in prison. I decided to go back before the event ends this week, and I wanted to bring you with me again. Let's go, in and out, 20 minutes. Jump town. Adventure. So, let's begin. We are in an RSI constellation Aquila, and as you know, all good ships have a name, so I decided to call mine Peace. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry to interrupt this viewing, but it's great seeing Dorian's comment here. I just want to read this, because it just gave me like a, <laughs> a moment of, of hilarity here. Dorian says... The first time watching your stream, you don't seem to be a bad dude. Even though when I made my first comment in one of your videos criticizing the tone of it, not you, by the way, you singled me out and directly offended me. <laughs> you were wrong about numbers, by the way, badly. Very badly. You don't seem to be the prick you sounded back then. Well, I'm glad in your eyes that I'm a better person. But I'm still the same person, by the way. So put on your big boy pants. Are you a big man? I'm, I'm talking to you. What? Don't get Do so I easily offended, shot, buddy. I'm a big boy listen, pants. Listen, Look, I'm wearing listen, the belt. Listen. I got big boy pants on. It's okay, Dory. For a little I'm jacket, still... you go. Listen. You take your lunch because you got big boy pants on? You got your big boy pants and your snack? Listen. You might think I'm a better person, but I'm I'm really not. I am not that person you're looking for, Dorian. And I'm sorry that... Uh, you are having issues with me. Listen to me. It's okay. It's cool, dude. Just take a breath. I'm. Am I singling him out again, Pepe? Am I doing that? That's a bad thing to do. Okay. I, I apologize for singling, singling you out once again, but you did write something very awesome. It was a paragraph or two, and I happen to like the prose. I like, I like the way you worded it. And uh, at first, your first comment that I read, let me tell you, the first comment that you read, I didn't like you. The first comment that, that you put on my channel, I didn't really like you, Dorian. And I have to say, that comment took me back a, a long way. It made me really think about if I wanted to create content anymore. But that first comment you put down there, whoo, buddy. And let me tell you what, your numbers, they were really bad. They were horrible. Your numbers were, boof, they were so off. But now that you're on stream... Now that you're on stream with me here, uh, I think you're pretty cool, man. <laughs> so can we have a, can we have a round of applause? Let's give a round of applause to him. <laughs> See what we did there, Dorian. See what we did there. We just we just we swapped stories, Dorian, and now we're cool with one another. So you're cool, and uh, we're cool, man. Like that's good. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. <laughs> All right, I feel good. I feel better now. Thank you, Dorian. I love you, dude. I love you. Let's turn over a new leaf for <laughs> peace this time around and head to Jumptown with the intention of being a pathetic but friendly conga liner. <laughs> After all, Luke Skywalker is probably still out there somewhere. That's a reference to my previous video. If you haven't checked it out, you should after this one. Then you might have a little chuckle and decide to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We arrive at Jumptown and land peace in a good spot so we can make our way outside. By land in a good spot, I mean d around for a bit trying to get a good angle from my port airlock so we can track the space drug boxes straight off the sky's nomad. I begin to make my way outside and as I open the airlock I get confused because this Australian guy starts talking over in-game comms asking if I'm a chill dude. Hey mate, we chill? We all good mate? You and I begin to wonder if we've accidentally landed near real world Sydney instead of a fictional moon in the Stanton system. I realized my response had to be incredibly well thought out and respectful because he has the tactical advantage as well as the benefit of presumably being born and raised in Australia which if you've never heard of Australia is a real place on earth that is covered in sharks and tarantulas. <laughs> so I deduced he must be a pretty dangerous dude because if you can hang out under the warm Australian sun and play star citizen instead of fighting for your life by protecting your neighborhood from vicious indigenous drop bears then you definitely know how to handle yourself at jump town. 
In order to build a sense of trust, I decided to speak his language and I chose my next words very carefully. So I said, yeah, mate, I'm as cool as a kangaroo and I guess Foster's beer is pretty all right. Uh -oh. Yeah, oh, I'm joking, of course, words. but before this video, don't ever say that to an Aussie. Don't ever. Those are fighting words. Hell, every every word to an Aussie is fighting word. Oi, oi, oi. God bless him. I love him. I love Aussies. I spent many, many, many days and in, in weeks and months with Australians and I absolutely love them. Australians have one of the best like frames of mind ever. It's like, we'll take care of it now and worry about what you did later. If you broke it, don't worry about it. We'll figure out a way to fix it later. Or we'll just break it again. It's a wonderful attitude to have. Let me just give applause to the Aussies right now. All the Aussies in the house. I love you. I was part of a, I was part of an Aussie organization in, in, um, in Eve online. And I was the only, a yank. I was, the, I was the only American in the group and they were all Aussies. There was like 15 of them and they were miners and industrialists. And let me tell you what, it was awesome. It was some of the best times of my life, man. They were, they always had a blast. They always knew how to have fun. And you know, one more, one more round of applause, all the Aussies. Right, butts. Right, dude. I love them. Yo, actually becomes racist. Here's how the conversation really went. Hey, mate, we chill? We all good, mate? Yeah, bro, I'm chill, I'm chill. I've got a level one crime stat, but I'm I'm not a bad guy. I'm here to help. I'm here to have a prosperous, happy jump town for everyone. All right, man. Where are you from, bro? Australia, bro. Where are you? Nice, man. I'm from South Africa. Oh, hey, man. Are you the first one here? No, I just know how to fly to where all the spawns are now. I suppose for the moment, let's just uh, go one for one. I then offered him some Vegemite. The, the accents in this video are, are just really exotic right now. Like the, the accents have now pulled me in. We've got a South African here who is Void Dude. We got a, a rando Australian. The, the accents are so exotic right now. How could you not be hooked? How could you? <laughs> and we got to work. We continued our banter while stocking space drugs and we both knew we'd soon be joining the Million Mile High Club. But there was literally me and two of my other mates that were at the previous jump town for like the last half hour. <laughs> Same here, Ash. Same on. here, dude. That's awesome. Did you make lots of money? We probably made like 1.52 mil from jump town. Nice. Yeah, dude, this is the best event in this game. It's so much fun. Oh, dude, I just, I like that it has the PvP element. Cause like, even when you landed and I like, had a position, had my gun out, I was just ready for you to come in and try and romp me. That's nerve-wracking, dude. Yeah, man, and then you're like, trying to figure out if they have a mic and if they can hear you or not. Yeah, yeah man, it's been so good. I will open the airlock on the side all the time, of my trip out. And I'm I'll just sit in my quitter and just nick boxes from people. And they don't even realize, dude, it's so funny. You know, if you want, bro, you can load those boxes onto my ship and I'll sell them with the crime stat for the extra profit. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you nervous with the Nomad, bro? That thing's got an open cargo area. But yeah, the Nomad is surprisingly quick and normally, like, say, for example, like... I've done this a few times in game, man. It's so fun just, like, meeting somebody and just, like, chilling out and talking with the dude. Like, it is so fun when you get in these situations, man. You know? It's one of the reasons I love Star Citizen. Good MMO always is going to focus on the fact that you have some type of interaction. And this is just another reason why the game hooks you like this. Just hooks you. Someone wants to come fuck up jump town. Go, no, <laughs> you think so fun? I don't know. Like Void might. What he said was might hurtful, not. but probably true. No homo, but my new pretty cool Australian bro was sophisticated, funny, and gave off the type of vibe that if you showed him respect, he'd respect you too and use his strength and Australian superpowers to protect you and make you feel that JT truly was safe. At this moment, I knew with him by my side we could conquer any adversity oh, and no. make it in this big, oh, fast, no. unforgiving he universe. Is... He decided it was time to move his space gunja to his nomad, Dude. which I maintain. Is, is, is he gaining over his trust just to fuck him over? Oh, man. Dude. We call that the Aussie flip around. <laughs> the Aussie flip around. Pain is a weird choice of ship for obvious reasons. After pretty cool Australian bro leaves the airlock, I can hear him talking to someone else. Don't be quiet like that. Hey, what's going on, bro? We got we got one guy out here. One guy out here, bro. Oh no, man! I'm really starting to think it's all for oh, sure. Got me. It would appear that emotional trauma continues to be the dish that Jump Town serves best. Okay, okay. Nothing okay. life has to offer will ever compare to pretty cool Australian bro. Our time together may have been short, but it was a bright <laughs> star among this dark galaxy of hate and evil. I then realize that there's more drugs for me now, and there's no more <laughs> conga line, so I carry on moving boxes of space crack and decide I can protect the facility as a one-man army with my trusty GP33 MOD grenade launcher. 
pretty cool Australia Bros corpse pops into the airlock and I figure since the gift of conversation is off the table, in death he has given me the gift of sweet loot as well as becoming a pretty handy doorstop. I then hear a loud explosion outside and peace is gone, there is only war now. I make what I think is a smart play and begin positioning the space crack boxes to form a defensive cover wall for the impending invasion of my JT safe space. Let the record show that I never chose violence this day, the violence chose me. <laughs> Dude, that's such a cool line. I know, right? After some time, the airlock eventually starts cycling. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! <laughs> As it turns out, I'm not what the cool kids would call an epic gamer and knock myself down onto my soft and squishy buttocks, as well as destroying well over 15 boxes of maize. I still haven't forgiven myself for this atrocious behavior. I begin looting Stranger Danger's corpse and I'm rudely interrupted by another airlock cycle. These new guys at Jumptown just don't respect the process. <laughs> At this point, my P6LR sniper rifle, despite having rounds in the chamber, decides this is not the time to dispense justice and refuses to fire. Chris Roberts, what the f is your problem, dude? <laughs> Six explosive He's grenade rounds him. later, and looking back while editing this video, I realized this was gratuitous overkill and very disrespectful <laughs> to pretty cool Australian bros' remains. I fire one more round by accident because I lack trigger discipline and get back to work. It's worth noting at this point that I have absolutely no plan. I don't know what I'm doing and- The guy was like, ah, ah, God, God, God. Hold on, hold on. We need to slow-mo it. I think we need to slow-mo myself on that. Hold on a second. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Where, where are we firing at? Hold because on. Because I lack trigger discipline. justice and refuses to fire. Chris Rob- Okay, okay here we go. Slow-mo time. Exposed. Yeah, yeah, that was like that was so that was so much. That was off the chart, man. That was off the chart. Of grenade rounds later, and looking back <laughs> while editing this video, I realized this was gratuitous overkill and very disrespectful to chart. pretty cool Australian gratuitous bros' remains. I fire one more round by accident because I lack trigger discipline and get back to work. It's worth noting at this point that I have absolutely no plan. I don't know what I'm doing and pretty cool Australian bro hasn't seemed to reply to my desperate up, please for help Welcome in general stream. chat. And I hey, figure Darth he's Spike, disconnected from the bro. server. Man, how disappointing. I finally get around to looting him and it appears pretty cool Australian bro definitely used to do squats. Some time later, the airlock cycles again and it's none other than stranger danger number three. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying yourself, Mojo. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty worried now as this guy has serious balls because if you knew how hand grenades don't usually work in Star Citizen, you would have never done what he just did. <laughs> He's going ham. The airlock cycles once again, and Stranger Danger number four is that playing a stick, serious dude, waiting stick, game. During all this extreme high octane first person combat, I realize I keep destroying more drugs with my reckless grenade launcher <laughs> etiquette, and the senseless loss of profit. maze hurts me more than my tier three leg injury, and even more than that one time I lost my pretty cool Australian bro. I mean, he's he's holding down the fort. He's holding down the fort. You gotta give it to him for. He's relatively new. Stranger Danger 4 definitely had his priorities set straight and managed to save quite a few boxes from my thoughtless grenading. The situation has clearly gotten out of hand and I don't think there's a way out with any profits until eventually after all this carnage, an unarmed That's man a in a white we new suit yet. shows we'll up and I out. realize he must have a ship. It's cool, bro. It's cool. Can you hear me? 
The new guy seems really calm and collected, and the fact that he came to jump town in nothing but his space pajamas probably means he's really tough and dangerous and will come in handy if more stranger dangers assault the facility. What's happening outside? What ship did you come in? You're making me nervous, bro. There's clearly one problem, though. Unfortunately, I'm not what people refer to as an intellectual and only know English. Clearly he didn't understand a word that I had been saying, but I carried on berating him with demands to help me move drugs onto his ship and to go outside to see if the coast was clear. My friend, can you look outside and tell me if it's safe? The, the, Obviously the he wouldn't mule. be able to tell me what was going on outside, but if I heard gunshots after he left, I would at least know that JT not safe. Bullets transcend language barriers. I carried on, trying to communicate with my new friend who was proving to be a terrible replacement for pretty cool Australian bro, but hey, at least this guy was alive. Beggars can't be choosers. You're gonna make some money, bro. <laughs> what ship do you have outside? <laughs> nice, said, dude. Let's load your tighten up with these drugs. Do you have a multi-tool? I couldn't give him a multi-tool because Chris Roberts is probably on a holiday or something. I'm Pablo Escobar, bro. I wanna make lots of money. Even though white jumpsuit guy hadn't moved and getting him to do anything that would benefit me in any way seemed hopeless, I was starting to feel positive about the situation. We could load his titan with the product and I'd figure out a way to sell it later by calling a friend who could actually understand me emotionally and literally. Sadly, that's just not how life works I'm in the verse. I'm waiting for the knife in the back. Oh no, there uh -oh. goes your titan, man. Uh -oh. Here they come. The explosions clearly indicated that more stranger dangers were on their way, so I tried to get my companion to help me in the upcoming battle, but again, thanks to Chris Roberts, I simply cannot give this man a gun because apparently the area is too cluttered. Like this video- By the way, according to experts out there that are Star Citizen content creators, some of them saying that there is no, there's no content, there's no fun, there's no gameplay in the game. Just want to make sure that we're very clear about that, that the, that's what the experts are saying right now. I, I don't necessarily agree because of like all the amazing shit that we watch and all these situations we see people get into. But, you know, to me, this actually looks like some fun. This actually looks like a, a game that you can have some fun in. But apparently a lot of a lot of star citizen content creators out there are saying that this is, in fact, not content. <laughs> Video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment to let me know how you would have handled this situation. As expected, the airlock finally cycles and once again my weapon decided to play a hilarious prank on me by refusing to dispense explosive justice. I'm dead now and speaking of Australians, my favorite Australian star citizen is this old Jen Desperado, who I just come in and just like obliterate him. That's so weapon sad. Weapon decided After to play a hilarious work. prank on me by refusing to dispense explosive justice. Oh, uh, after all that work. After I'm all dead that now. Work. And speaking of Australians, my favorite Australian star citizen is this old <laughs> Jen Desperado, who streams on Twitch. Definitely check him out when you have. Some Dude, he's passing it along. You see, you see, Void. Dude, by the way, listen. Applause the void dude because he actually sent out um, a communique, if you will. And he said, thank you so much, GG360, for getting us over a thousand subscribers. And I just want to say, you're welcome, void dude. You're welcome, dude. Like, this is, I think, the second video we watched by him. The first video, we just went over in mass. I think we gave him, like, an additional five or 600 subscribers. And we boosted him up over a thousand. I like his content. I like the way he edits things. And um, he's look what he's doing. He's promoting DG360 style. You see, like he's he's helping out other people. And that's he's passing it along. See, that's that good karma. That's that good prana. Just ah, that good prana. <laughs> like you that you it just it's just going through the screen, man. It's just going to other people. That first level energy, that positivity. It's just going right through and it's passing right along to this dude with the glasses on the end. I don't know who he is. But Void's doing it. Void's doing it, man. That's awesome. Some time. Link to his channel in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my other content. And I yeah, he's doing good, man. We're gonna watch more from him. I like, I like his style, man. He's at 1.3. Wow, good for you, Void, man. Good for you, dude. Man, it feels good, man. It feels good to have a purpose like this and helping other people, you know. It's nice. It's nice to do. I like it. I like it. The 